Hey guys, this is Derek from Certified Legacy, and today I will be showing you how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS to iOS 3. But there is a catch. It depends on if you have a new boot ROM or an old boot ROM. What does that mean? It just means if you have like a new generation 3GS or an old generation 3GS. How do you find this out? Well, well I'll show you later. Um, but why does this matter? Um, if you have a new boot ROM, that prohibits you from downgrading to iOS 3.1.3. And if you do have an old boot ROM, you can downgrade to 3.1.3. But both of these uh, methods are exactly the same. The 3GS is probably the easiest, other than the iPhone 4, to downgrade to an older version. So, today, the star of the show is this 3GS, which you've seen in previous videos. If you don't watch my videos... Um, and if you don't, my name is Derek from Certified Legacy, and this is just a modified uh, casing, housing, 3GS, basically. So you'll obviously need a Mac, obviously, preferably with 10.13 high C or, or higher. So you're going to go to this page right here, which I have linked in the description, and you're going to go to latest. It's called Legacy iOS, because I have the tool we're using. Um, you go to latest, and you're going to get the one for Mac OS. I also... Um, you can also do this on Linux, but um, I, I do not have Linux at my disposal currently, as my Linux uh, computer is dead. But it's about the same exact uh, way of doing things. So anyway, like I said, get Mac OS and download it and extract your zip file. Once you've done that, you will get, you will get this uh, folder right here. Leg Legacy iOS Kit Mac OS. By the way, yours will not look exactly like mine because I have some custom IPSWs I've tried in here and uh, for downgrading and so much and so forth. But whatever, what will matter anyway is uh, this file right here, restore.sh. That essentially is the whole entire program. So you open up your terminal, which you can find in Launchpad and just search it up. And you'll just drop in this file right here into terminal, restore.sh. And it'll ask you to update it, say yes. And it will now install the update. Okay, now that it's done, you're gonna go drop it in again. Restart at sh, hit enter. And see, this is where it won't tell you the boot ROM immediately because you have to put it into DFU mode. So let me show you how to do that. In mind, know how it shows the week there. It's just because I've done it already, but this is just the thing that you will do anyway the first time you do it. I won't show you this immediately because you have to put it in DFU for first. And also, another note, if your new boot ROM is very late, um, it can technically run 3.1.3. So I'm going to be trying that, actually, um, because it is the absolute latest version. So we'll see if that works. If it doesn't, I will be showing you the whole entire method and whatever. So anyway, we're going to go try that. Hey. Okay, so now that you're here, um, I'm going to show you how to put in DFU mode. So you're going to go to Useful Utilities, and you're going to enter DFU mode helper, and you're going to put this here. So get ready to enter DFU mode. How you do this, essentially, entering DFU mode is like the most basic thing for a downgrade. It's very, not very hard. You go power button, home button for 10 seconds. And then after that 10 seconds, you stop holding onto the power button and you hold the home button for another 10 seconds. And then you're in DFU mode. Sometimes it'll go to recovery mode first. This will put it in recovery mode with the DFU mode helper. So yeah. Okay, so you're gonna hit continue. It's gonna get ready. And you'll see this as I do this. I might butcher it, so, cause I'm doing this with one hand. Okay, see, eight seconds now. I'm going to keep holding it. I'm going to hold it a little past this. Okay, should detect it in recovery mode. It says found device in DFU mode. So now you're going to go back here and you're going to drag in restore.sh again. And says your iPhone 3GS is a new boot ROM model. And it will sh Actually, it does not show you the week or manufacturing sometimes. Uh, cannot check for manufacturing date and DFE mode. Um, 
as if you have a new boot ROM model, um, the most likely thing you're going to do is you're going to downgrade to 4.1. And I would not recommend trying iOS 3 because it really depends on what week you're doing. And it's not a crazy difference. So I'm just going to be doing um, 3.1.3 anyway. So you're going to select it, the version. And if you are on a new boot ROM model, the uh, newest I would recommend would be 4.3.5 or 4.1. But I'm going to be selecting 3.1.3. So, you're going to download the target IPSW, and it will now download it. And I will come back to you when this is fully downloaded, it shouldn't take that long. Okay, once you've downloaded the target IPSW file, you can select an I Apple logo or recovery logo if you want. We're not going to be doing that because we're going to try to keep this as authentic as possible. So, you're going to hit Start Restore. And this is where you're going to ask. It de all depends. This part depends on if you have four, uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM or more, then say yes here. Um, I don't because this is a old iPad Air, uh, not iPad Air, uh, MacBook Air. So we're going to say no. Verbose boot. I'm not. I don't recommend this. It just shows a bunch of text when you're booting. I'm going to say no. And here it goes. So it is now restoring. Apparently it doesn't ask for jailbreak, which is kind of weird, but I'll just jailbreak it on restore. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So now once you've uh, downgraded, you're gonna hit jailbreak device and you're gonna hit yes. And it'll take a minute to do this. Send device to recovery mode, hit yes. And it will find it in recovery mode. It takes a second usually. Come back to you when it's in recovery mode. Okay, and it's gonna ask you to put this into DFU. If you already know, I've, I've already showed you how to put it in DFU actually. So this part should be a breeze for you. Okay, now it's jailbreaking. Okay, it should now reboot in a minute. And I'll come back to you, and it should be jailbroken, and this is how it should have gone. Hopefully, it worked. Okay, and upon reaching this screen, you'll drop restore.sh back into uh, the terminal. And here is where you're going to go to useful utilities. You're going to... Uh, activate the device. You're gonna hit enter and turn to continue. And the root password is Alpine. A L P I N E. And hit enter. And it should be rebooting after I've done the activation. And now you can see. Um, I don't know why it's syncing. I don't want it to. We are on iOS three. Sick. You can see the version right here. And it was also jailbroken. Another little thing that Hacktivation does um, is it completely removes any uh, act, uh, sim lock put on this, not activation lock. I didn't mean that because it didn't even exist on iOS 6 and 3, iOS 6 and all the iOS 3, 3 GS versions. And uh, iCloud lock uh, is impossible. You can't, you can't bypass that legally. So what I'm saying is um, this completely uh unlocks your sim card so you can put any sim card in here but because i live in the united states none of this matters for me because there is no such thing as 3g in the united states anymore um it does exist in some other countries that aren't the u.s i'm not sure i think even canada still has 3g i'm not completely sure but i know 2g does exist I think T-Mobile still supports 2G because if you even try to put a SIM in here, it won't work. Um, and what it basically will do is it will fall back to 2G. So technically you can get 2G on this thing, but for like a usual daily device, this is like, you can't make calls or anything like that. You can't do that anymore. So yeah. Always, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please like subscribe and share this. If you need further help, you can leave a comment down below. Um, and if, it's something related to the boot ROMs. Um, I'll just say for now, before I reply to any of your comments, if something goes horribly wrong, um, you're, you can't go to three.
usually. Unless you have a very early new boot ROM like me, you can't downgrade to like anything beyond like iOS 4.1. I do not recommend anything other than 4.1, but this isn't 4.1, so you get what I mean. Anyway, this has been Derek from Certified Legacy, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share this to someone that might find this helpful. I said this already, but who cares? Anyway, uh, bye-bye.